Hello everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel The Informant. If you are new to this channel, let me just remind you that we make videos related to online services, education, placement drives and many more. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please do hit that red button so that you get latest notifications first on your screen. So as you all know, our today's video is about Cognizant SME interview experience. So since we got many comments related to Cognizant SME interview, we will discuss in detail about this in our today's video. So let's start the video. So we will be discussing some major topics related to SME interview. So let's start one by one. First of all, what is Cognizant SME interview? So Cognizant SME interview is nothing but evaluation of your internship. So the courses which you got in internship, they will evaluate you based on that. So why do they conduct your SME interview? As you all know, you'll get many courses during your internship from Cognizant. So they will evaluate how much you have learned from your internship in your particular domain so that they can give you a full time employment and they can assign you to certain projects. So when will you have Cognizant SME interview? So Cognizant SME interview will be conducted after successful completion of your modules. For example, you will get 9 weeks, 12 weeks, 15 weeks of modules from Cognizant which, which will contain certain courses. So after successfully completion of those courses, they will conduct this SME interview. So what is the duration of SME interview? So see the duration completely depends upon the interviewer. But as far my information is concerned, I got a review that it basically uh, it averages between 15 to 20 minutes max. So let it be 30 minutes, but it's on an average, it's 15 to 20 minutes. Depends upon the mentor and depends upon the questions they ask. So questions asked in SME interview. See the questions asked in SME interview will be directly related to your domain. So I know may, many of you have been allocated, allocated to various domains and they will ask questions related to those domains. Basically the courses which you have learned, if you have strong basics in that, they'll be asking you upon that itself. So they will not expect like you to be master, but still your basic fundamentals should be very strong in that. If you know the basics, then I, I know you'll show, surely clear the interview. So can you clear the SME interview in first attempt? So many of you have doubts like uh, most of you are able to clear it in second attempt. So it's like a myth. You no need to clear in second attempt. You can clear it in first attempt. If you give your interview well, they will give you a FTE that is full time employment in first attempt itself. So what if you fail to clear the SME interview? So no need to worry if you fail to clear your SME interview. Cognizant still give you a chance to continue the employment, but you need to clear in the further attempts. So will you get multiple attempts to clear the interview? Yes, you will get multiple attempts. So this is how it goes. So first attempt you'll get and uh, you'll be asked questions related to your domain. So in after if you example assume if you don't clear in your first attempt, then we will given a certain duration of time. So after that time, you'll have a second interview scheduled. So in second attempt, you need to clear. So what if you don't clear in second attempt as well? So this is a doubt. So according to my information, if you fail to clear your interview in your second attempt, you will be given an option to select a different domain. For example, they are giving you training in Java or software development basically. So if you have uh, failed in the interview in both the attempts, so then they will ask you an option to change your domain. Like you can change your domain and they will give you training based on that. So after your training, again, they will conduct an interview that is third attempt. So then you can clear. So this is how it goes basically. But I hope that you clear in first or second attempt itself because um, majority of the candidates have cleared this interview in second attempt since SME is a new concept in Cognizant because before SME there was BU interview but now they have introduced SME interview itself. So will SME interview affect your joining? See, uh, SME interview is directly related to your joining. So it will decide how much soon you'll get onboarded 
or how much soon you'll get the pro- project allocation so i i suggest you to do the interview best so that you get you get to join earlier so the, does sme interview have any relationship with internship stipend so sme interview has relationship with your internship completion stipend it depends see many of the domain students have received the internship for first month and second month while many have not received for first and second month as well so it completely depends upon your domain so if your domain uh, for example i know one of the domain where the students have got internship a uh, stipend but other domain students who are, who are doing internship from 2 3 months till they have not got so once if you clear sma interview no doubt everyone will get your uh, complete stipend of your interview duration so next so this is the information which i got from cognizant it is official information about sma interview how they will organize so let's see one by one and understand what it is so one meeting was arranged to sensitize you towards bu and sme interview then after completing your training based upon your overall phs that is performance health score value if your score is more than 70 that is in your called in green zone you will get eligibility to attend bu interview so bu is nothing but sma this time so uh, remember that you need to have your score more than 70 if you are in green zone then only you will get eligibility to attend uh, sma interview as well as it is related to your stipend you need to have your score more than 70 then only you will get the stipend so please utilize the time for brushing up your skills on stage 1 and 2 concepts and attend mock interview on video so you will be comfortable to attend bu interview without hesitation so this is general then your coaches are the poc that is point of contact uh, who will arrange your bu or sma interview very soon after your training please reach to them for any query related to the interview so you need to have good relationship with your coaches because they'll only be assigning you the uh, semi interview or there are chances that they might only take the interview as well so it depends upon the project on the domain so you need to maintain good relationship with your coaches then you have two chances to clear the interview as per their official uh, notification that you have two chances so if you couldn't clear uh, in first chance then after 10 business days you will be called for second chance interview so this is what they mean so it basically means if you don't clear in first you will be having second chance but they have not officially mentioned about the third chance so it's better that you clear your interview in second chance so next interview status would be shared to you by your coaches within a day or one so you can result ex- expect the results very soon within a day or two so those who go for second chance interview please ensure to prepare well so you must prepare well because your this is your second chance and they expect better from you so those who have successfully cleared the bu interview irrespective of their first and second chance they will be successfully completing the internship and get graduated from the academy post which you will get onboarded as ft that is full time employee so this is the main thing after you clear your first uh, interview sme interview let it be first chance or second chance then only you will be called as a, a graduated academy post then you then only you will be uh, onboarded as ft so this was all the basic details about sme interview if you guys still have any doubts please drop down in the comment section i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible so this was all about our today's video if you find our content informative please do like share subscribe and stay tuned